Welcome back to the Sound for More channel. Today I have the pleasure to show you MIDI Designer Pro X from Confusion Studios. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Okay, thanks. So let's start as giving a big thanks to Confusion Studios, the guys over there, for giving me the opportunity to uh, try a MIDI Designer Pro X. As you can see, premium edition uh, so a subscription is involved please do check the details for that um it's a great 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 midi um controller app which allows you to create uh, a midi controller professional uh, midi controllers and that's great because it solves all the problems you might have had in the past to get the right midi uh, hardware controller or even software controller that does exactly what you need. Well, in this case, you can actually create one, which is fantastic. Now, I'm running a MIDI Designer Pro X inside in an iPad Pro. And um, I also have running, as you can see, uh, AUM. And indeed, inside AUM, I'm going to create an audio channel and I'm going to load an extension for Grand Piano. And I'm going to connect that to the AUM uh, destination as a virtual input port so that I can play uh, the piano, which sounds like so, directly from the MIDI controller. Okay, of course, I'm using a um, software instrument, but you can use also um, a hardware gear. And, and this is great, it works also on an iPhone, so you can actually create your own interface and just uh, drive your synth directly from the mobile phone. And it allows also Bluetooth connectivity, which is great. It comes with uh, lots of templates that uh, you can also uh, use. When you turn it on, it says tutorial, browse, configuration, design, and play. If you go directly on play, it should show you something similar to this, depending depending on when you used it last time. As you can see, there are a lot of different controls, buttons, sliders, et cetera, et cetera, which you can use, but also different pages at the top. And you have also this menu called More. You actually click underneath, and then the More menu uh, appears, and then you have presets, which you can save, many of them. You can go back to the home page, design, configuration, etc., etc. So let's go back to the home page. Now, if you click Browse, this is where it will connect um, to the Internet. Of course, you need to have uh, um, an Internet connection on. You can also view it on the browser. And then it gives you a list of all the layout, um, which you can scroll down. You have all the details. You can even see images of what the, the layout looks like. And, of course, you can download any of them, which is fantastic. Let's click Close, and uh, we are going back here to the Play mode. Now, um, let's say that I want to go in design mode. So again, I um, select more here and I click on design. And this is where I enter the design of the UI for that particular um, MIDI controller that I'm trying to create. So you click somewhere and then, of course, you can select an object and things like that. You can exit the design mode, of course. But um, let me start with something empty. So I go to config. Right, and then uh, let's go to Actions underneath. You can see there are different options here. Then I'm going to select a new layout, and then it gives me different options for different layout. I'm going to say wide blue blank, which means it doesn't have uh, any of the different uh, controls. And I'm going to give you just an introduction to see how it works, because it's absolutely amazing. So let's go to uh, Design Mode. It says here, exit design mode. You can lock and do things like that. You can click somewhere, and then it says, what do you want to create? Well, a button, a knob, a slider, a picker, a crossfader, etc., etc. So let's select uh, a button, and let's say I add one of it. I can resize it, like so, right? Nice. Then I can double-click on it, and uh, a properties menu appears where you can do a lot of different things. For example, here, let's change the label to C. Then the subtype here, and we, instead of being a toggle button, let's say momentary button, which means that you have to hold it uh, for being pressed, and then, of course, you can release it. And then you have display option, with the, which at the moment it says no more. But if you scroll down, you find something like piano, key C and F, and the key C and F, you click on apply, 
is this key which has uh, this um, part of the key which is removed to allow the black key to be positioned there. Then you can go to MIDI as a next page and you can say, instead of sending control messages, let's send some note on and off message. You click apply, then you decide which note to send. So let's move up octave because of course, uh, uh, otherwise it would be too low. Let's select C3, which is great and click apply. Right, so if everything is okay, when you exit the design mode and you press on the key, you have that key already playing. Of course, you can continue like so. You can, back, can go back to more. You can click on design. You can click outside, add another button like so. Position is somewhere there like so, just to give you an idea. Double click on it. Then let's go to property, change the name to C uh, sharp, or you could put a number, whatever you prefer. Toggle, we say momentarily, so you need to hold the button apply it and then we just say as a display i want it to be piano sharp and flat and there it is then we go to midi we select a note on and off and then here we go and select the note that you want to send as a message now you can see the c3 is not there because it's already used but you have c sharp free okay then click apply and there we are exit the design mode So as you can see, it's really, really straightforward in terms of actually um, creating your design, your uh, layout. And remember, it's not only about adding keys, but you can also add a add lot of different controls. Indeed, if you go to uh, config again, you click on load layout, let's load something that I, already, I previously downloaded. And you can see here immediately, it says file loaded, all good, right? And you can see here um, an interface which is already being created for the Roland TB3, the base um, device. And look how defined it is, really amazing. So you can achieve some really, really professional um, type of controllers. And of course, then you can use them as you like. Okay, I'm going to stop here for first for this first introductory uh, tutorial and video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. I will create other ones because it's a great product. And uh, as always, see you next time. Bye.